All right, I'll, uh, I'll get rolling here. Um, you know, good win. Proud of our guys. Thought they uh, thought they played hard. You know, I think uh, you know that was going to be the thing for us. We talked about it all week. Really, it's going to be a 60-minute football game. Had an idea that would kind of come down to the very end. I think our guys really did a good job preparing for that. You know, we talked to them about it. Um, you know, pre-game, just about you know the first half is fine. First half really doesn't matter. It's the second half of the game. You're gonna have to. You're gonna, you need to figure out a way to make some plays down the stretch. And to their credit, they did exactly that. You know, like I said, proud of the way they played. They played really hard. That's a really good football team to play against today. I mean, they're, they're good. I mean, they're uh, fast. They got a lot of playmakers on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, really thought our offensive line played well. Thought we were able to run the ball against a really good defensive front. Gave us a chance. And you know, and I thought Shane, you know, made plays. And our receivers made some one-on-ones. -on -one, so we were gonna have a big coming in and have a chance to win. So. You know, the, the game kind of played out like we hoped it would, and, and proud of our players for executing the game plan and you know, figuring out a way to win. What's more gratifying to you in terms of the development of your program, going on the road and beating a ranked team or being 4-0 and going into conference? Yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think just figuring out a way to win a football game, you know, it's hard to do. Um, every one of them, you know, they're all different. Sometimes you got to score a lot of points, sometimes you got to get a stop at the end, sometimes you got to make some first downs and let them walk out. You know, I was proud of our guys. You know, the tie to turn here in the fourth quarter, they had a little bit of momentum and they scored the touchdown. And we had the snap, a little miscommunication on the snap and got pinned back there. And, you know, had a really good punt. I thought Trevor Dembo did a tremendous job putting the ball out of bounds and making him drive the length of the field. And then, you know, defensively, I thought we really played it smart. You know, we made him burn some clock. Uh, the drive before and then the last drive, you know, I thought we pressured him a little bit. Um, you know, forced them maybe to, to get the ball out of the quarterback's hands before they wanted to, and you know, the guys made some plays. You know, when you look at the significance of, of this game, in just the context of both the rivalry and both, you know, SMU history, I mean, do you kind of feel that right now, or is it something that's going to have to sink in? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, you know, you, you know, you're so focused on um, just trying to figure out how to win, and then, you know, I'll we'll enjoy this tonight for a while, wake up tomorrow, and start looking at South Florida. You know, and trying to figure out a way to go on the road and win a game there. So, I mean, you kind of, it's hard to put stuff in context maybe during the season. You just don't really allow yourself to do it. You just kind of play the game and get on to the next one. And, and it's a little bit like the mentality we're trying to create with the players. It's just, you know, play the play, play, and then put it behind you and play hard the next one. And, and then at the end of the year, we'll kind of look up and see where we're at. Um, but, you know, it's gratifying to be a good team. You know, when you, when you play against a really good team, Find a way to win. You do it on the road. It's gratifying. What happened with the helmet? You know, I, somebody threw one of our players' helmets all the way down the field. That's what I was mad about. You know, I saw the helmet flying through the air, and, you know, and nobody else, nobody else saw it. And so uh, you know, I was a little upset about that. But hey, it is what it is. What's the explanation they gave you? I mean, they they shouldn't see it. They shouldn't see it. So they can't go look at it. No, I can't, can't really review like a penalty or something like that. Uh, and I didn't see it really. No, I, I just saw the helmet flying. I didn't see who threw it. Um, it was a hell of a throw. I mean, it went about 30 yards. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, you got to kind of try to go do that sometimes. You have to throw a helmet. That's really impressive. Can you when, talk about your, your secondary? I mean, that was a outstanding game. Yeah, yeah, I thought our guys, you know, we gave up some plays in the middle of the field, you know, but I felt like that, that you know, we didn't want to give up any any really, really big plays if we could avoid them. That was going to be really important for us to try to try to make them drive the length of the field. You know, when, you're, when you have a young quarterback that hadn't, hadn't played a lot of football, you know, you want him to force force them to string plays together and, and to try to avoid big plays as much as, as much as we could. You know, in order to do that, you know, you guys got to be in the right place. I thought both of our corners, you know, covered exceptionally well in man-on-man -man situations. You know, Brandon Stevens continues to make plays on the ball. I thought our Johnson did some good things as well. Our guys competed hard for the football. Uh, thought we tackled, you know, fairly well on defense. You know, we let we let Gary um, Sanders have a really long run where we thought we had a tackle and about an 80 yard run. But you know, beyond that, we, we made them earn everything they got for the most part. And, uh, you know, I thought, like I said, I thought our guys were in the right place. You know, to make plays on the ball, and then at that point, it's just about competing. And, I thought our guys fought hard for football. Russell had that uh, field goal. Um, just, you know, how big was that given? Yeah, given yeah, I mean, 
our kicking woes. I mean, usually those things are pretty automatic in, in for us right now. I was concerned about that. But he nailed them and you know, kicked the ball really well, and, and hopefully we're past that. You mentioned the young quarterback. TCU had played two guys prior to today. Are you surprised they didn't play Delton more to try to shake things up on their offense? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think I think once you make a decision, you know, you want to play who you're going to play. And, and I, I felt like it against uh, against Purdue, you know, it looked like the decision had been made, and, and uh, felt like that that's that's the direction they were going to go. In. Coach, for anybody who has sort of a historical knowledge of SMU, being 4-0 for the first time in 35 years is a really, really big deal. Is it a big deal for you? Uh, you know, I mean, you had been here for 35 years. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's a big deal for our fans, and I get it. I mean, you know, like I said, I, I don't try to get caught up in all that stuff, you know, during the season just because... You know, I think it's a bit of a distraction. You know, you just got to prepare for, for every game to go play the best you can play. And, you know, and then if you win, you can celebrate for a little bit and move on. If you lose, and you try to figure out how to fix it and get better. And so, um, look, I appreciate winning. I've been to places that have been hard to win, you know. And, and, um, but, like I said, I, it's just about week to week for us. I, I think our players have really done a good job of riding in that philosophy. I just believe that. You know, and the big thing we want to do is figure out a way to go five. And then, like I said, when it's all said and done, we can pat each other on the back. Like you said, it was, we knew how this game was going to come to the end, but the way you guys started that opening drive, and then you did the fumble, and you turned out it was important to was that to set the tone? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, look, I thought it's important to get off to the start. You know, especially when you're playing on the road against a really good football team and a team that, you know, can feed off momentum. You know, that, that's PCU does that remarkably well. I mean, they, they're a team that when they get when they, when the momentum's going, and they're feeding off of it. They're really difficult to deal with, and so you know, I, I think it was important to, to get off to a good start, get some confidence. Um, you know, I thought I thought both of our coordinators did a great job calling the game. You know, I think, I think Brett you know, ran the ball enough, and, and Shane made good decisions, and he threw it to the right guys, and then I made some one-on-one -on -one plays, and we we're going to have to make to have a chance. And, uh, but it, it, anytime you're on the road, you've got to get off to a good start. Gary yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, Gary's, a, I have probably as much respect for Gary as I do anybody in college football, and so, um, you know, I don't ever, I, I root for TCU, you know what I'm saying, when, during the week, I mean, when, they're not, when, when we're not playing, I'm rooting for them. I know i got a lot of guys on the staff that have a ton of respect for them, and I uh, like the players, and, you know, they are, they're the first class book there, and so, but, but it, like I said, whenever you beat somebody as good as them, it's it's, it's great. Now, Gary voted you, or he may have voted you in the top 25. Do you feel like you're going to more of those this week? Oh, I don't care about that. I mean, that's kind of, you know, like I said, that's, you, you, you go out, out as fast as you get in. You know how that is. You just got to, we just got to okay, get ready for South Florida and you know, go, go play again on the road next week. What are the guys who was pumped up the most at the end of the game? For Shane for sure. Yeah. How big is it? Just to kind of come in, especially with everything. Yeah, I, well, I think Shane was 0-2 against the Texans, you know, and, and so and they had some pretty tough losses, I think, against him. So it was it's, it's gratifying for everybody, you know. And I think let me say this: I think us playing against Arkansas State that game, you know, uh, week one, and being in a situation like this, I think really prepared us, you know, to, to have this kind of challenge again. You know, we played some pretty tight ball games, uh, especially the, the first one. And, you know, the more of those you play, the more confidence you get from it, the more your guys learn from it. And so I, I think that experience helped our team today. And we we're probably going to battle test it, um, maybe than it would have been. But I'm happy for Shane. I really am. He's, you know, he's, uh, he's been a lot to our program. And, and, you know, I'm looking forward to watching him get better and better every week because, you know, I just think he's getting started. So he's still, you got to remember, he didn't go through spring ball. So we're on, you know, basically about eight weeks of practice right now. And, so I think every week is big as well. Sonny, can you talk about just how well this offense is clicking right now? To get over 400 yards and 41 points against one of the best defenses in the Big 12. Yeah, I mean, TCU is one of the best defenses in the country. I think you saw how they handled you know, Purdue last week, and Purdue was a pretty explosive, explosive offense. Uh, you know, I think the good thing about it is we have a lot of guys who can make plays. You know what I mean? I think that's, that's you know, we have a quarterback that we believe in. Uh, we have some receivers that, that we think can win some one-on-one -on -one battles against really good people. 
Uh, we have Max who run hard, uh, you know, and catch the ball well. You know, I think throwing the ball to those guys this week in particular was important. You saw um, Xavier had that big touchdown catch. Uh, you know, so I think right now we've just we've got some good players and some, some pretty key positions. But having said all that, I think the key for us is our offensive line, just the improvement those guys have made. Uh, I think AJ Ricker has done a great job with those guys. Um, I think every single week they get a little more confident, a little bit uh, you know, rely on each other a little more, have more belief in each other, and uh, it's gratifying to see that. You know, because it's kind of a young group and a group that's probably coming to the earth with some question marks about them. And, you know, I think for the last couple of weeks, those guys have really played well. I thought they played their tail off tonight against a really good defense.